I'm driving down Hollywood Boulevard with the wind in my face. Life is good. I love Comedian Carol Kane. From Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Caroline Ray. Comedian Gilbert Gottfried. And starring Whoopi Goldberg. With Tom Bergeron, your host, all on Hollywood Squares. And here's Tom Bergeron. Hello there, welcome to Hollywood Squares. We have an audience full of nimble footed adrenaline junkies here. Give yourselves a hand. The Serpent of Humanity, all here to be part of this little experience. Let's uh, say hello to our gang at 10 this week. Hello, stars. Hello, hello there. Good to see you. And welcome, welcome our contestants as well. Miss Circle, tell us about yourself. Hi, my name is Piper Poland, and I'm from Simi Valley, California, and I'm a hairstylist. And in my spare time, I enjoy swing dancing, and I'm a very big Spice Girl fan. You want to be a Spice Girl, right? I would love have to be one. Have you thought of your Spice name if you become the fifth Spice you Girl? You know what? I think I'd have to be Piper Spice. Piper Miss... Spice is a good Piper one. Spice no, is Piper Spice is good. Yeah. Well, well, good Pepper luck in that. Well, thank you. Piper Spice. And uh, Mr. X, tell us about yourself. Hello. Uh, you? Hi, I'm John Clark, uh, born St. Louis, Missouri. I'm an airport rep for a limousine company, and in my spare time, I fly to every jazz festival I can get to. Oh, very cool. Wow. All right. Well, uh, good to have you both here with us. You know, the interesting thing, and this is an irony, because I don't think you two had ever met. You were telling me you want to be a Spice Girl, too, right? That's right. That's just, who, who knew? Chocolate Spice. Yeah, chocolate Spice. <laughs> good for you. There you go. Here's how we uh, play our little game. you got to get three or four of these stars in a row, either across, across up and down, up and or down. diagonally. Please remember this. Yes, indeed. This is all very important stuff. Up and down, stuff. diagonally. You have to decide if the answers are giving are correct or they're just blowing smoke. That's how you get the squares. First game is worth $1,000. Who won the toss backstage? Piper Spice won the toss. You get to start. I would like to start with Whoopi Goldberg. All right, Whoopi. there. <laughs> Whoopi, uh, still... You know, I turned them down. Huh? I turned them down. The Spice Girls? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did they you... wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine Whoopi Spice? It wasn't going to be Whoopi Spice. It was going to be Old Spice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but go ahead. Okay. And just keep your opinions to yourself, Mr. Osmond. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Still unfinished in 1800, who was the first president to live in the White House? The white guy. <laughs> Wasn't us. Because <laughs> we wouldn't have named it that. <laughs> so, it had been the house. <laughs> and everybody could have come. But the white guy, John Adams, was in the house and he named it the White House. I'm going to agree. John Adams, yeah. Circle gets the square. John Clark, your turn. Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried. Basking in the love of his people. Gilbert, to, uh, to keep its fraternization policy in step with the other services, the Army has given uniformed lovers one year to break up or what? Or start taking an interest in women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know this, because I've been in the Army for several years now. I'll say get married. I agree. Get married. X gets the square. <laughs> Piper? I'm going to go to Dick Clark, please. Dick Clark. All right, Dick. <laughs> Dick, um... Joe Black, and we're not talking about the movie Joe Black, was the first African-American to do what? This is a guy, he was in some kind of sports. He played major league sports. I think it was baseball. First African-American to play baseball? I'm going to disagree. Some kind of baseball, yeah. Okay. You're going to disagree, disagree with that incredibly vague answer? Okay. <laughs> 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 don't, Tom, you don't have to help her. Okay. Just, just take the answer. The first 
African-American to win a World Series game. So you disagreed with him. You get the square. Circle gets the square. That was a specific thing that he did. All right, uh, John. Caroline Ray for the block. Caroline for the block. America's sweetheart. <laughs> uh, Caroline, what's a, what's a spork? A spork? A spork. A spork is a pregnant pig. <laughs> Have you ever heard the expression? You're a, you're a sporker? Okay, all right. Hey, I'm taking that personally. You are not a spork. It's not Donnie and Spork. <laughs> I don't this is it. very, very, very difficult. A spork is a cross between a spoon and a fork. That's a spork. That's an answer. I'm going to disagree. A spork is a combination between a spoon uh, and a fork. I was so racist! All right, Piper, we can't give you that one. You have to edit it yourself. I'm going to go with Caroline Ray for the win. Caroline for the win and $1,000. Caroline. Yes. <laughs> new, new Woman magazine has found that at work, the higher the education level of a woman, the lower is her what? Tolerance for men. I'm sorry. Um, Excuse me? I'm having an off day. Relax. Okay. okay. Um, the lower is her pay. I'm going to agree. The lower is uh, the heels of her shoes, wow. actually. X gets the square. Sorry. John, you're still in this one. We'll find out how it plays out after these very important commercial words. I kid you not. You must watch. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Welcome to Hollywood Squares. Uh, we got the first thousand dollar game still underway, and John, it's your turn. Carol Kane, please. Carol Kane. <laughs> Carol shooting the shrink is in with Courtney Cox, Richard Benjamin directing. Carol, for Micah Shalfusi is a nuisance found in many kitchens. What do we better know it as? Oh, that is a condition whereby your kitchen counter separates from your kitchen sink and tries to move into the living room. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, uh, it is um, uh, 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 for Mike. It, it's uh, the common mouse. It's a fancy name for the common mouse. For Mike, shall you see a common name for a fancy name for the common mouse? I agree. Common uh, fancy name for the common black ant. Actually, oh. Oh. Uh, circle gets the square. Piper. I would like Donnie and Marie, please, for the win. Donnie and Marie for the win! Co-hosts of the aptly named Donnie and Marie show. Okay. Don Gorski of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, has consumed over 15,000 what since 1972? <laughs> 15,000 cans of cheese whiz. No. Yes, in Wisconsin, it's cheese. I pray it's not genetic. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, cheese. Oh, no, it's cheese whiz. It's cheese. Cheese. Cheese? cheese. Settle on one. Che one answer. All right, cheese. Fifteen, what, 15,000 pounds? 15,000 pounds of pounds cheese. Of cheese. I'm right. going to agree. Actually, 15,000 Big Macs. Big See, Macs. I told you it was Gets the square. All right, you're still alive here, John. Okay, I'm going to go with Coolio. 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 What part, what part of a rhinoceros is made up of matted hair? <laughs> I thought I'd ask you. <laughs> Probably the part that need to go to the barber shop. Could you, yeah, yeah, could you narrow talk, that right? down a little for us? Mm. Could be his tail. His tail. I agree. Actually, I didn't know this. It's horn. Its horn is made of matted hair. Isn't that fascinating? That is why. Circle gets the square. All right, Piper. Thank you. I'm going to go with Bruno Campos, please. Bruno Campos from Jesse. All right, Bruno. 
USA Today says that the average man does this 69 times a day. What? <laughs> oh, we do it more than that. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. <laughs> oh, we can change your mind all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, hey. More than that, huh? I, I think I hit a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Go you, for darling. it, babe. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Oh. We yawn for a five square win. I'm going to have to agree. Laugh. I the average, have said that. Uh, the la average <laughs> woman laughs 55 uh, times a day, so X gets the square. All right. All right, John. Brad Garrett. I thought. John, you don't, you don't have to pick me. <laughs> it's really not a problem. Yeah. I'm a little tuckered out. Could you go to another square, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You should see me on Pyramid. Right, Dick? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but I think Dick dropped his wallet or something. I'm not sure what it was. He's, he's down there. Oh, he's yeah, down he, there. He's down there. Maybe he threw it up at me. Yeah, there, I don't know. Dick, where are you? He's down below me. All right. Me. There goes my career. Go ahead. All right, Brad. If you bite into ground chickpeas and fava beans that have been shaped into balls and fried, <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are you eating? <laughs> They've been shaped into balls and fried. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm obviously not eating my first choice. <laughs> I don't care what it is, because I usually dine at the House of Fried Things anyway over on La Cienega. I'm having my wedding there. What, uh, uh, um, what are ground chickpeas and fava beans? Yep. It's a Hannibal Lecter dish. Isn't it with a nice Chianti and a fava bean, Clarice, and your dollar ninety nine shaves? <laughs> I would say um, you're eating hush puppies. Hush puppies. Disagree. It's falafel, actually. Uh, X gets the square and a five-square win for a thousand dollars. Hard-fought game. Another thousand-dollar game. A secret square game coming up right after this. Stay right there. No consideration furnished by the following. Closed captioning provided by... Squares, we're going to do another thousand dollar game. This one will have a secret square. If uh, either of you picks the secret square and is correct, here is what you'll win. Adventure awaits you on a Harley Davidson motorcycle tour through the Wild West worth two thousand five hundred dollars. All righty, let's show you folks at home who the secret square is. All right, now you know. I should mention, if we run out of time in this or any other game, every square you have on the board is worth $500. End the show with the most money. You're the champion and go on to play for a bonus prize. John, you won the last one. You start this one. Miss Whoopi Goldberg, please. Whoopi. There is, a, there is an old saying, when two people lie on one pillow, a third person should what? Start the video camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you so Bruno. Funny. Oh, was... No, actually, uh, it's a saying that says you should stay out of it. You know, that that two people will make their own decisions, but you should stay out of it. I agree. Yeah, not mix in, butt out. Yeah, however you want to put it. X gets the square. All right, Piper. I would like to go with Coolio, please. Coolio. Oh! Our secret square. All right, Coolio. Huh. Secret square. You all right up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. This uh, this popular toy was originally developed as wallpaper cleaner. Was it silly putty, crazy foam, or play doh? Mm. Mm. Silly putty. I am going to agree. Play doh. Oh. I actually, play doh is actually wallpaper cleaner. X gets the square. All right, John. Gilbert Gottfried for the win. Gilbert for the win. Hi, <laughs> Gilbert. Primrose, Primrose Bordier received the French Legion of Honor for designing something we use in bed. What did Primrose design? Handcuffs. <laughs> uh, that might be the spatula. 
Oh. Well, I'm just speaking for myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think it was bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> bed sheets. I'm going to disagree. It was bed sheets. Oh. Yeah, it was bed sheets. Circle gets the square. You're still in this Piper, the spatula. <laughs> I'd like to go with Donnie and Marie, please. Donnie and Marie. <laughs> Miss America hosts 1999. So you're you're hanging out with Mozart. He starts to play a song you wrote when he was only five. Huh? You immediately recognize it as what? Play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you better say it. Mozart. <laughs> Mozart wrote it. Uh, a minuet in G, I think. <laughs> <laughs> minuet in G. I'm going to disagree. Twinkle, twinkle, little star is what it is. Circle gets the square. Wow. Minuet in G is a good luck. All right, John. Dick Clark for the block. Dick Clark for the block. All right, Dick. Okay, Dick. This, uh, <laughs> this street can be seen in 141 countries. Over 250 celebrities have spent time on it. What is its name, Dick? The, the road to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably... It's probably Sesame Street. I agree. Sesame Street it is. X gets the square and the block. Well, 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 we're, we're plumb out of time. Uh, Piper Spice, you have uh, two circles up there. That gives you $1,000. And our thanks for being here. And all these friends, nice to meet you. Thank you. But Chocolate Spice, look at you. You got three squares on the board, $2,500 in cash. You're our champion, John. Congratulations. We come back, you get to play for a bonus prize. Could even be a new car. We'll find out right after this. Stay there. Jerry Springer, Jackie Collins, Keith Oberman, Kelly Ho, Joey McIntyre, and Whoopi next week on Hollywood Squares. The John Clark, he's our champion with $2,500 in cash, but more to come very likely. John, you feel good about this? I'm feeling right. good. Huh? Each of our stars has a bonus prize. They total over $100,000 in things like these, John. There's an exciting journey to Portugal worth over $7,400 and a check for $10,000. Or if you like wheels on your bonus prize, check this out. The Chrysler Sebring Convertible, V6 engine, performance handling, a back seat comfortable enough for two, and a double sealed roof for all year driving, engineered to be great cars. This sporty new car is worth $28,970. Never. Don't even know what it is. John, John's never had a double sealed roof before. So uh, all you got to do is you, you pick a star, get the final question right, and that prize is yours. Donnie and Marie. Donnie and Marie. What are we playing for? Yeah, open it up and show What are we giving? We're giving you 10000 bucks. Not quite yet, though. Got to earn it. Okay, John. The highest price ever paid at auction for a movie poster hmm. is $453,500 from which film? The Mummy, King Kong, or Gone with the Wind? Gone, Gone with the Wind. I agree. The Mummy, actually. Oh. Yeah, I would, I would have, I would have guessed Gone with the Wind as well. We're gonna throw in twenty five hundred dollars well, in you. consolation cash. Thank you. you got five thousand in cash, John. Thank you. Not bad for half an hour. Not bad at all. That gets you to the Montreal Jazz Festival. Yeah, that's right. All right there you go. That's right. We're out of time. On behalf of all our stars, I'm John Bergeron. We'll see you next time on Hollywood Squares. Play safe.